I'm joined by former Liberal MP and political ana analyst Eleni Bakopanos to break all things down here today. Thank you so much, Eleni, for joining us. Thank you, Brittany. So, of course, uh, the former MP here, a West Mounter's favorite, Mark Garneau. Uh, now, as we know, uh, West Mount tends to be a liberal stronghold. Um, a lot of candidates here that were fighting very hard to earn their votes. Uh, what do you think we can expect from tonight? I don't think we'll have any surprises. I, I truly think that Anna Ganey will win. But what we have to look out for is the voter turnout. Will she have as high a percentage of the vote as did Mark Garneau, which was nearly 53 percent of the vote? But that was an election and not a by-election. And by-elections tend to be low voter turnout. Secondly, I'm looking to see how the NDP will do. They came in second last time. And don't forget that the Green Party leader is actually running in this co-leader, just to put it properly, is running in this riding. And uh, I hear he's done a really good campaign. Campaign. So it'll be interesting to see how the voter uh, turnout is, what the breakdown of the vote is. And uh, from there, I still believe that there'll be no changes in uh, NDG Westmount. It's been liberal for a long, long time. And I don't think we expect a political tsunami tonight. <laughs> now, speaking of this liberal stronghold, liberal machine, of course, we had uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau come to Anna Ganey's uh, rally on Friday. Uh, of course, he endorses her. Uh, she was the former president of the Liberal Party for many, many years. Um, she's a name that people recognize, of course, the daughter of Bob Ganey, if you recognize uh, that family name. Uh, now, that being said, um, Justin Trudeau has been a little bit under fire. There is a little bit of liberal fatigue. Um, do we think that some people might try to go for a protest vote or has she done enough to earn, um, you know, the votes? Well, I, obviously, all those issues are in the back of, of some voters' uh, minds. Uh, is it a test in terms of the government? To a certain extent, a by-election is. But I think it's a bigger test also if we look at the four by-elections together. Uh, I don't think there'll be any changes in terms of the House of Commons seats. I think the Conservatives will win two seats. The Liberals will also win the two seats. Uh, but it is a test on what the government has been doing. But it's also a test whether Mr. Pierre Polyev and his conservatives will be able to uh, keep at least one of the ridings in uh, Manitoba, okay, where Max Bernier is running against them. So we'll see. But usually by elections are a way for people to test parties, sorry, to test their game plan. Did it work that Mr. Polyev was so anti Trudeau? Did it work that Mr. Trudeau uh, had certain issues that have come up, uh, be it foreign interference, be it electoral reform, be it the fact that uh, his ministers uh, are under fire? So will that show up in the vote? It'll show up in two ways. Either people will stay home and not vote, or they'll go to another party. That's why originally I said, let's look at the breakdown or where the, the uh, votes will go and how much of a protest is. But you never know, did people vote for the NDP because it was a protest vote, or did they vote because that candidate happened to the, be the one who had the perfect message for them? Uh, and they wanted to, to go with that candidate. That we will not know until later on when the, the polls are... Uh, and you never really know how people vote. But definitely by-elections are a test, both for the government and for the official opposition. The official opposition always wanting to do better and the government also wanting to know how angry uh, voters are. Here I hear that uh, a lot of the voters were angry about Bill C-13. And the fact, and not just that, but they're the English-speaking majority living in this riding, which is pretty high, uh, are concerned about whether their rights are being infringed, both by the provincial government and by the federal government. And I, I understood that at the door-to-door -door that was going on, there were, were a lot of questions in terms of Bill C-13, the official languages changes that have been made, were, which incorporate Bill 96. Will that play out in terms of the results? We'll only know tonight. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And hoping for a bigger voter turnout uh, here tonight, of course, during the day. People are at work or at school, not necessarily voting. But we're going to have full coverage for you throughout the night in Montreal. Brittany Enriquez, City News.